Welcome to Specialist Crafts, an introduction to screen printing. In this short video, we'll show you how to make a positive print using screen printing. Screen printing is a stencil method. The stencil blocks out the negative image, leaving the positive image open to allow the ink to pass through. For this project, you will need the following items. Here, we are using hinge screens. The base of the hinge screen acts as a printing table. The hinge allows the screen to be lifted easily to remove each print. The attached prop holds the screen in place to enable inks to flood back to the starting point, ready for the next print. Masking tape seals the edges where the mesh and frame meet. It protects the wooden frame and prevents inks from leaking through. Dragging ink along a mesh with a squeegee forces ink through the mesh and the open areas of the stencil. You can use paper stencils if you want to make just a couple of prints. However, paper is less durable than wax stencil card, which is water resistant and will enable you to produce many prints from a single stencil. When planning your design, think of how much detail you will need, as this will influence the number of stencils that you use. Here, we are using a simple two stencil approach to create an Aboriginal style lizard. Once you've drawn your first shape, draw three good notches to help line up further stencils and cut them out using a craft knife. You can now use this base shape as a template to draw your other stencils. Use the notches to ensure your final print will line up. Once you're happy with your stencils, you're ready to start screen printing. Lift the screen, prop it up and position your printing paper onto the screen bed. Place three strips of masking tape onto the board directly around the paper edges. Two on the longest edge, one on the opposite edge. These are called stops and will help to line up each new sheet of paper that you print. Lay your stencil over the paper into the required position. Place pieces of double-sided tape onto the stencil to help it attach to the screen and remain accurately in place for each print. Lay your stencil over the paper in the required position, making sure to draw in the notches from the stencil. Lower the screen, checking the position of the stencil and the paper. Pour some ink along the top part of the inside of the screen. Hold the squeegee at a 45 degree angle to the mesh surface and pull it towards you firmly and evenly. Raise the frame slowly and use your squeegee, again holding it at a 45 degree angle to flood the ink back to the top of the screen ready for your next print. Remove your print and first stencil. Remove excess ink from the screen. Position your first print, aligning it with the stops on the base of the printing table. Align the second stencil in position using your notches. This allows the colour to be printed precisely into the area left blank by the first stencil. Put some double sided tape onto the stencil to ensure that it remains in place for each subsequent print. Choose another colour and repeat the process again over your second stencil. When you have completed all your prints, Clean your squeegee and screen immediately. Always allow a screen to dry completely before you use it.